How you doing? This is Anthony with Graphicsphere. Uh, today I'm going to be demonstrating the Rollin FJ50 and then I'll demonstrate doing a print and cut uh, with another machine called a Vinyl Express uh, Vinyl Cutter. So first I'm going to show you how to turn it on. Come back here, flip the switch in the back. And come up to the front turn the power on hit the setup button So what it does is it measures the paper or the vinyl. The vinyl is a 30 inch material. So I just load it in the back here. This slides back and forth right here. It slides uh, up to 54 inch vinyl or paper or banner, any kind of material. So you load it in the back and then push it through, feed it through, and then push this lever down. So what the setup button does is measures the paper. So it goes across here and it measures to the point where the paper is. It could be, you know, any with I think it prints from like 54 inch material down to 18 being the smallest size roll and you can use pieces and you know full rolls you know like 150 foot rolls real heavy rolls you can load in here okay so after the after you do the setup, it'll come up with the width of the material. So that's what you got to use in your software. So now let me show you the software. Well, before we do the software, let me show you uh, the first thing you got to check every time you go to print. Hit the cleaning button once. And come over here, check the lever, which is this lever right here. It's up here. See, it goes up, middle, or down. When you're in cleaning, you have to have it down. So make sure that's down. Then come over here and hit the cleaning button once. Then hit enter. So it's doing its uh, priming and cleaning. You should always, you know, do a cleaning right before you start to print something just to, you know, make sure it's in 100% uh, quality. So it pumps the, the heads up, I think, and then it wipes the bottom of the heads with a wiper. So it does it all. This takes roughly about uh, 60 seconds. Does it about twice. Okay, so after it finishes cleaning, come over here again and put this lever right here back up into the middle position because now you're going to do a test print. Come over here, hit the down arrow, and then hit enter. It should say test print on there, hit enter. So it has 
all six colors black cyan magenta light cyan light magenta and yellow so this is a six color machine in the fj50 by rowan so the ink comes half full and there's the drain bottle so anytime it's doing its cleaning it you know will pump some ink up and then it drains into the bottle there okay let's do uh, all right so that test pattern looks really good let me send it to the test print now let me show you the software now so put this back down okay so after the printer set up come up here and plug in your USB cord and about software uh, you can use Rollin color choices program it works just as good and you can also use FlexiSign for Rollin printers uh, because they come with all the color settings that uh, you know Rollin has uh, included with FlexiSign so if you know you're not familiar with the color settings we'll you know talk about that in another video but as far as uh, just showing the demo right now I'm just gonna do a you know print from FlexiSign into the rip and print menu so after you you know set up your image this image has cut lines around it so if you look closely there's little red lines around the outside so that means it's telling the software to cut it after it prints but because we're going to be using two separate machines it's just going to print only so what you do you've got to set up all the settings now so when you're ready hit the rip and print and the rip and print menu so now in FlexiSign rip and print come up here make sure that you know the right printer is correct USB Rollin Hi-Fi Jet FJ50 and then make sure that the material width is the same width as what you see on the screen if it's not you'd have to change it so you come up here most of the time it's set to this so that's for big sheets of material but come up here change it to user defined and whatever you see on this screen change it right there so for this material it's 28.2 Okay, now it scales it to the correct size of the material. And next we're gonna have to change the contour settings. Since we're just gonna be printing this time, we're not gonna be printing and cutting. Select your cutter from the menu. So pick Jaguar, since that's the machine I'm gonna be using for the vinyl cutting. The send box is for say you were you know going to do a print and cut which we're doing you are kind of have to pick print job only because contour job only is if you're ready to do the cutting in the vinyl cutter but since this is the printing job we're just doing print job only so select print job only make sure the registration marks are set to four point because that gives you the most accurate cut just check the speed it'll be you know default to slow but you just got to make sure it's on slow not fast because you always want it to be on slow all right so then All right, so you'll also have to change 
the 28.2 to be the same width as the printer. And hit done. And now the color settings. Okay, so there's a lot to learn about the color settings in FlexiSign and color choice. Uh, you really just need to uh, just see how I set up just a couple of the settings in here, but later I'll show like a video more in depth of the color settings and what each one, you know, means and how to design your images and then what setting, like what output settings, output profiles to use, color settings. So here's an example for the media. Since we're going to be doing color correction, I always use others. It doesn't matter what this box has as long as it's on others because then it's going to use this profile. And I mean, there's tons and tons of different profiles. So just to get a quick introduction on the color profiles, it's called an ICC profile. And each profile is for different kinds of material. So today I'll be using GCVP, which is glossy calendared vinyl. So if you highlight over it, it it'll tell you, you know, glossy calendared vinyl, super photo. So that's just an example. Another example is SPV CB, which is the banner material, heavy duty banner. And one more other one is the paper, which is SGP. And that's like salvy glossy paper that you can use to print uh, business cards and stuff. Okay, so going back to GCVP, which is, you know, just regular glossy calendar vinyl, like Oracle 651, 751. These you're going to leave the same. Uh, CMYK LCLM. You could print in different modes, but we'll talk about that later. The print mode, I'm just going to leave it on uh, fine, or for this one, I'm just going to do normal. But again, these, you know, print modes, you'll get super high quality if you put photo, normal quality. Most of the time, what I'll print for actual like customers it'll be on super but it takes a little while longer so for this demonstration I'm just gonna do normal and it's still you know good enough quality just uh, you know use day to day but if somebody that you know really needs something you know super high quality you could do super that's what super means so it just depends on your customer how picky they are but again, normal is just, you know, if you're using it and you really can't see that much of a difference, so just print it in normal. Okay, so now the color settings have been set up. So next, come up to general. And this is the layout menu. Because the vinyl cutter uh, has material width of 24 inch, since I'm using a 24 inch vinyl cutter, so what I did is I measured this line right there to see how how far it is from this end to this end. So that was two and a half inches. Then this side was say two and a half. This to this is 24. So that's 26 and a half. And then this is like, I think, about another five or six inches. But I measured here to here, and it's 30 inches. So as long as you're printing 30 inch material with the FJ50, 30, 24 inches is even better because then, you know, both are compatible with 24, but you can use 30 inch material, which I'm doing on this demonstration 
So what I did is I figured out how to lay it out on, on the software. So I have to have a two and a half inch space to the right over and then, you know, one inch back. So that way it's not right to the edge. That way it can read the crop marks. So here we go. So if you come back up here, this is the position that needs to be changed. So the position to the, you know, to move it, to shift it to the left, do two and a half. And then change this to one, because that'll, you know, move it up just so you can have some room to read the crop marks on the vinyl cutter. So again, this is just all set up, you know, that you have to do. If you're just printing and you're not doing a print and cut, you wouldn't have to, you know, set this all up with the crop marks and everything. So this is just a good video to show you, you know, how to do it with the print and cut. All right, so after you got this set up, you notice I sized the image to 21 inch because that just happens to be just the right amount. Because if you're adding two and a half over, you're losing that print in the image. So it has to be 21, no more than 21 if you're using 30 inch material. So the image needs to be 21. That's what that is. And then copies, you're just gonna do one copy. So if you click this, that'll space it out send the file to the printer uh, just I want to show you a feature on this machine and so you did a test print before and now we're gonna have to uh, do a sheet cut so what you do you come up here and there's a button with the sheet cut so hit that hold it down now what it does is it'll go across and it'll cut the sheet so you don't have to like manually cut it with a, a blade or anything it'll it automatically cuts the sheet so now now it's ready to print all right so now what you do you come up here and there's a button on the bottom right hit send then after it sends it it's gonna take about a couple seconds or minute for it to you can come up here and see the all right that's the rip processing now the printer should wake up and the light right there should say busy So it's first printing the crop marks. That's the first crop mark there, and then the fourth crop mark. And then at the top, it'll have the second and the third. So here's what you've been waiting for to watch. It's printing. So you can come over here. Look at your image that it's supposed to print like see so in windows it shows a percentage over here if you want to you know watch like the percentages the size is 2.8 and the width is 15, I mean, that's, it gives you an estimate, uh, you know, how long it's gonna take to finish. So it's about a fifth of the way finished right now. So it's only about 10 or 15% finished, 20%.
So I'm just gonna stand back here now and just let it videotape while it's printing it. So it has the heater built into it. So I installed the heater. What it does is it heats up the this metal right here. So it's just, you know, an option that I put on there. If you don't use it, you know, it'll still print without a heater, but it just is good to have if you need to start printing very quickly. and you need something to dry fast, it's good to, you know, turn the heater on. So... I'll turn it on just to show you how to use it. I'm waiting. So there's a plug in the back. So as soon as you turn it on, as soon as you plug it in, it turns right on and starts heating up. So you won't have to change anything on here on the, on the, the temperatures. It's all set up. It's set to like 110, so it gets hot fast. So I'm already feeling it getting hot. It's already hot, so. So it's more than 50% finished right now. So if you come back to the, that tells you right there that it's just over 50% finished. So what I mean by telling how, how long it is till it finishes, so you divide that number by that number and that gives you the percentage. So it's about, you know, 60% right now. Pretty close. No banding. Colors look nice. The last image is printing now, and then I'll be able to show you the loading into the vinyl cutter and then we're going to contour cut it. So I'm going to wait here and wait till it finishes printing. I make all kinds of these kinds of stickers. I sell these at my store. I'm always busy doing these and
as you can see the colors are printing really good again uh, this printer is a little easier for beginners the newer Mott Rollin printers the, in FlexiSign the printers don't print as good but for some reason this uh, this type of printer with uh, converted to solvent ink it prints really good in FlexiSign or color choice but FlexiSign there's it's really hard to print the, with the newer Rollins uh, in FlexiSign that I, that's what I've learned but these the colors you know come out just what you're looking for It's finished and it printed the other crop marks on the tops so if you look it's got the numbers too and now I'm gonna show you how to load it into the vinyl cutter set it up in the vinyl cutter and then it'll cut or send it to the cutter with the same software so let me show you that okay so after it finishes printing what you want to do is push the down arrow so it rolls out some media so what you want you want about you know about five inches off of the cutting sheet line so if you look the cutting sheet is up here so it goes across like that so leave about five inches from the crop mark to the sheet cutting line so you know you can adjust that with the up and down arrows so once you got it about five inches hit the sheet cut I come over here to the vinyl cutter and load it into the vinyl cutter Okay, so after you put the sheet in, this is a Vinyl Express uh, Jaguar. Uh, another name for it is the JG61. So after you put the media in, lower it down. Roll edge single. So single means piece because it's just one piece, it's not a roll. So hit the right arrow. Now it sizes it. Now it's ready to send. So it tells you the width and the length. So as long as that's under 22.8 or 21. And so again, you have to make sure that the crop marks, see if you see them are within on the inside it doesn't matter where they are on the are on the inside but they got to be to the right of the left wheel and left of the right wheel so if you look back in there see it's in there so that's just you know that's because when it goes to read the crop marks it needs to be within the area that it's cutting it can't be like out here because then it's not going to be able to read the crop marks right so yeah when you print something with this printer the fj50 it has to be on the inside where the area where it cuts so that way it can read the crop marks okay so let me show you how to do the manual alignment on the crop marks so you come back over here like you're gonna print something again so it's still the same menu after you printed it so you can go to advanced now and come down to contour again and this time you're gonna pick contour job only 
Again, make sure that it's set to your vinyl cutter on the right port. So I hit done. And then hit send. All right, now this menu pops up. It will be different for different vinyl cutters, but I do the interactive alignment, which is manual, which you'll see that it is kind of manual, but it works. So here's the way, hit okay. Some vinyl cutters though will have the built-in contour cutting so that way you're not having to manually align the crop marks so I'm just saying here's the the screen so what you do is you look down here where the and then you have to use the arrows on the screen to go forward And then left and right so and then come over here find the crop mark Okay, so it's pretty close there, but it has to be, you know, aligned just right. So let me move it now. I got to move it to the right a little and then down a little more. Okay, so when it's now aligned just on top of the crop mark, come over here, hit OK. Now it'll move it now around to where the crop mark is. So it's not going to be right on. I'll zoom out a little, see if you can see it better. See how it's off just a tiny bit? So that's how it's mostly going to be. So what you want to do, you want to come back over here and manually align it. So the first one's the hardest one to get aligned just right. So it's just got to go over a little and then down a little. Come back over here and check it. Alright, so I went over just a little too far right. So you got to come up back a little. Alright. If you can see, it's just right. That's number two. Then come over here, hit the OK. And there's number three. So number three is off just a tiny bit, it needs to go a little to the left. Okay, so that one's right. So three's ready, so hit OK. Now this is the last one. So four is too far down and to the left, so or right. So up. So I'm hitting up. And a little left because it was a little too far right. Alright, so this is ready now. So number four is ready. So once four is ready, you hit OK. And now it'll start cutting.
you know. to it is the four crop marks need to be manually aligned so the you know different vinyl cutters make it easier this one I bought this vinyl cutter when I was you know half my age and about 15 years ago and it still can work with any of the newer printers and the newer vinyl cutters and newer printers they have like they're called uh, crop mark readers so it'll automatically read those crop marks without you having to manually align them so the alignment process could you know take a little time to learn and it is kind of you know difficult if you've never done it before but it's it's not that bad once you you know learn it and like I said it this video will help you show you how to do it. But you will get the same results as, you know, a brand new printer and cutter. It, it's just that it takes a little more, uh, you know, manual labor to do it, which I didn't see a problem when I started in this business. I mean, this was my setup when I first started, so. The FJ50 by Rolland and a Vinyl Express Vinyl Cutter. So that's how I got started in the business, and I mean, I, I, you know, wouldn't have picked any other machines other than Rollins because their parts are the best in the world, and you know, you can pretty much find parts anywhere still for any machines. The vinyl cutter, you know, it's having a separate vinyl cutter could be a benefit because, you know, with all the laminating uh, jobs you do, say for example, like vehicle wraps and stuff, you're going to have to laminate it anyways. So a built-in vinyl cutter in a printer isn't going to help you because you have to take the material out and do the same thing again. It does help to have a vinyl cutter with a crop mark reader because that means you won't have to ever manually align you know using the arrows like I was doing with a you know vinyl cutter with a crop mark reader it just automatically uh, reads the crop marks when you put the material in it'll read it it'll go automatically and then it'll just start cutting so this is my setup that I used when I first got started. So just letting you know that it's a great uh, setup to get started. So, and I'll explain uh, more videos later, especially with the software, because uh, that requires lots of more uh, videos and You'll see them in my next videos. Thank you. So I'm gonna show you the cut lines. Just take this. And peel them up. That's. Take this. Okay. 